RGS stock, Regis Corp. It closed the session of the 23rd of December 2021 at $1.69, a loss of 15.50%, 5.8 million shares across the tape. What else happened in that session? The stock reached its 52 week low. So, but as a matter of fact, the stock, ha the stock has been in a 52 week low mode for months now. It has been, you know, you know, declining in it's been a in a bearish uh, more in a bearish trend for a long time now. Okay, um, even even since the last one month, all the way to um, this will be sometime in November, all the way to the 29th of November. The stock has also been in a, in a, in, a, in a bearish trend as well. You know, even though at various times uh, during that during this last one month, it. You know, pulls up and that uh, closes above its uh, 10, 20, and 50 day moving averages. You know, we can see that. You know, it does, it does, you know, it seems to rally, but it's each, each one seems to be, each one seems to, to some extent, especially of late, you know, they seem to feed into that downward trend. You know, whenever it rallies above the those moving averages, then we see to trace again and you know it was just of late since the 17th of november that it just you know began to crash down you can so we saw this huge uh, drop from is it a huge drop okay but it, you know from the that 17th it just kept on declining you know not, not just on a few occasions where it just moved sideways but it's just been declining and declining only from the 20 what 20 20 20th did it's 20th of this month did it start to you know rally again but all of that you know led to yet more decay you know so the stock is uh, definitely easily as you can see in a downward trend bearish trend uh, fundamentally things are not looking good you can see what's going on here since 2014 see how everything the revenue has been declining has just been declining and declining and declining you can see that so yes Fundamentally, the, the company is not doing well. Something must be behind this. Something must be behind this. You know, um, the folks at um, 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 Seeking Alpha, they've done some due diligence there. This piece here, written over here. You know, you, can, well, you see the link uh, to that and you digest it yourself. But at the same time, it's, the stock also has 20% of its uh, float sold, sold short. It's also optionable as well. You know, so we know of late what's been going on with um, companies uh, not doing well, you know, going bankrupt and all that stuff, or trying to go bankrupt, and uh, has uh, and they have uh, um, a sizable amount of short interest and all that stuff. Could it be what's going to happen to RG, RGS stock? But what is certain is that um, there's a, there's every, every chance that given, a, given that uh, it has reached this 52-week low as at uh, the 23rd of December, there's every chance in this in the next trading session that they might extend again. This is not to say that you should buy it. This is not to say that you should buy it. This is, you know, the pattern that then it repeats itself, you know. So it's going to be, it's going to be a site, you know, even though it is, I believe it's going to continue to retrace and retrace and retrace, but at various times it will also, you know, extend, you know. So um, would people buy the dip, buy this 52-week uh, uh, dip? Absolutely, they will buy it. You know, you can see that it's been in, it's been in this mode for a long time, and people do buy it. You can see that, and it's also an above-average volume. So, people, a lot of participation for it for the stock. There was a lot of participation for the stock. So, I mean, meaning that um, yes, a lot of people took advantage of what's going on with the stock. So, in as much as things are going wrong. People are also there making money from the stock. So this is, you know, this, what you have to be aware of. This is not a recommendation to buy the stock. We're just uh, pointing out uh, what's going on there. You know, there is still people still are, are still making money, and they are, you know, for obvious reasons. You know, there's money to be made in the stock, whether it is um, whether it is um, um, whether things are good fundamentally or not, whether good things are good technically or not. So that's a point I'm trying to make. You know, so. Um, but it's not a recommendation that you should buy it. I'm just, uh, you know, co covering this for you, you know. So there a, a, a couple of news items there. So their CEO uh, stepped down, you know, and all that stuff, you know. That news also came out in this, this uh, session with Richard Thor. You can see accumulation is uh, very bearish. And also, and then you can see another reason why this uh, the stock might, uh, 
you know pick up again you can see it is totally oversold and usually when we find that you know it's a cyclical thing you know it's oversold it will become um it will come out of it and if it comes out of it, it means that some buying is uh, is uh, t taking place if it comes out of it momentum is improving so that is something that is likely hard to happen you know um expect that to happen as well you know for i can see that on this one month uh, chart it's also bearish as well so let's uh, quickly have a look at the one day chart the last uh, trading session let's see whether what the momentum there is you know the momentum is if if it's oversold meaning that the moment there's a loss of momentum the reverse will also be the case as well so i think um it's uh even though it um yeah it was actually looking up or rather not no not so much okay let's see what's going on. okay the momentum is uh was okay at it's sprang up but it's also waning as well so looking at it from a longer perspective from one month and and um and um further or higher you can see that the momentum absolutely has uh, dis disappeared you know but um on the immediate in the in, in, on the immediate level which is just one on the one day uh chart you can see that momentum is uh it's a sprite it's a rose you know it's holding up but it's not as strong you know so uh that's it's just an indication that people are definitely taking advantage of what's going on you know with uh, the stock with the stock you know so the stock is uh has reached a 52 week low the fundamentals do not look right at all market participants definitely will come back to the stock and they will take advantage of this 52 week low you know this the pattern is there you know the pattern is there especially the what the one month chart is in, indicates it's um what the month yes you can see that so there's that pattern is there you know uh now don't even be surprised that it may even extend and um, you know reach up to two dollars or thereabout you know so we don't have any target for the stock you know we um if we have to do that let's um we'll just have to look and see if it's you know at what what's the point of even getting a target you know but uh, in any case that's something that can happen but in any case i'm, I'm just gonna ignore the target it's this the fundamentals don't look right don't they don't look so wonderful but what is certain is that uh, market participants are going to get involved and they are going to buy the dip which is a natural thing momentum is flat means there's an opportunity to make money it's totally not there it's going to come back it's, it's just a natural thing so um not so good for our gs stock and see what you make of it thank you very much